Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to my channel RC Dunia We are going to watch a video and react on it You all might be thinking why I made this title as an oppressed hijabi Well, we will watch this video and we will find out So, we are going to watch this video about a Christian woman who mocks hijab so let's go and see what does she say Wait, we're trying to show you, you how the, the Bible destroys women. How? How? Let me explain. The Wait, there are social the implications of this law. Yeah. So let's law. before we go there, Abdul, yeah. let, let me let me just clarify just, just one second. Us. Amy, you know this video is around 43 minutes long video, and uh, it will be quite long if we watch complete content of it. And uh, they discussed about a lot of things. And some of the key points from where we are starting is like uh, the, uh, these women were talking about uh, divorce in Islam and remarriage after divorce, which is actually not allowed in Bible because uh, it is uh, akin to adultery in Bible. Like uh, if a woman marries, remarries after a divorce, it is like she is committing adultery. So according to these women, Muslim women commit Muslim women commit adultery when they remarry after divorce which is actually allowed in Islam as per Islam a woman a widow a divorcee whether a man or a woman they can remarry so my point here is that please to all the viewers over there whatever religion you follow it is your personal religion it is your scripture according to which you follow the religion but uh, you can't set the same criteria for every other religion if you are Muslim you can't set the same criteria for other religions like Christianity, Hinduism, Judaism any other religion and same goes to other religions like Christian, these Christian women they set the criteria they are viewing Islam from the class of their religion so please don't do that and this is why people become judgmental because uh, they think that uh, what is uh, as per their views that is the correct correct one so we must refrain from those type of things so let's continue you know the same passage in matthew 5 okay when somebody sins with their right eye what does Jesus say to do that? Yes, Mas thank you, Mas thank you. Yes, let me respond. Mas let me respond. No, no, wait. She, it was her point, so no, I want to respond. No, and then you can. Look, look. I'm not saying only her. I'm saying together. first, let me respond, this, and then you so answer. I, I, I have no, that's fine. No, but I just want to know because it's the same passage. It's the same passage in Matthew 5:29. When somebody sings with the right eye. What should they do according to Jesus? Can I respond on your behalf? Yeah, of Okay, course. good. My sister gave me permission to go ahead. Do you need a permission? Yes. For everything you do? I do. Each other, I do thank respect you. each other. Oh, yeah. Right. The, my request is, don't throw fatwas <laughs> that we have to discuss for half an hour and then you can, you say, my sister, you are the one who threw the fatwa in. She you know what fatwa? You, you made a ruling from the Bible. You, you're trying you to made something up from the Bible you, and we're now spending half an hour trying to refute it and then you hand it over to her. This is not fair. Christianity are treated worse you, than in Islam, but the reality is that that's not Have the you truth. been to a Muslim country? Right. Why? Have you met Muslim women? Can you please? Where, where, I, where are you I've from? Seen, I, where, where, it doesn't where, matter. Don't, let's sister, not make it personal. You, I, I, can you, I can guarantee you that you have not spent time with Muslim women. You don't know what Muslim women are. You don't know how they live. You have no idea how they live. They're, they are possibly that. You know why? What's going on in Iran? Like, wait. What's going on in Iran, Sister, please? Iran, come on. Can, can you give me? What's going on in Iran? Okay. Come on. That's okay. okay. Islamic world yeah. starts from Morocco. Uh, Iran. Most of the time I have seen that uh, this uh, Iran topic is thrown to the Muslims. Please, Muslim world doesn't start from the Iran and it doesn't end on Iran. There are many other countries Islamic countries where Islam is followed, where majorities are Muslim, even if it's a secular country, 
but majority of them are muslim followers are muslims and uh, still you pick just cherry pick one country where this problem has come up but uh, the thing is we don't realize i don't know much about what's going on in, in iran whatever we get to see from the media that's what we know whatever is happening in iran we get to know from the media what media shows we see but uh, do the media show us complete truth whole truth we don't know because uh, we one thing we know for sure is that media shows us what they want us to see media tells us what they want us to know and uh, we can't trust the media completely now the point is that are all the women in iran against hijab so for that i will say that in the media also we can't see all the women on the street they are not all of them are not protesting in many of the comments in the sections comment sections we find that many of the iranian women are against this protest and they want to do, wear the hijab and the actual problem with uh, the protesters are that in iran it's compulsory to wear the hijab whether you are a muslim or not so it is like for some people especially for other religion they are not uh, acceptable it is not acceptable for them so it is yeah it is uh, difficult for them and is some sort of like imposed on them that they also have to cover the, their self so this is why they are protesting but yeah, they are protesting against the law not the thing that they have to wear the hijab as per the islam so they are protesting against the government which have imposed which have strictly told them that they have to wear hijab this is from my view <laughs> i won't say that uh, this is the absolute fact and uh, we no one knows the absolute truth all the way to bangladesh so and, and you are affected by the news you are a victim of fox news cnn nbc sky yeah. news and bbc you you people are so i'm sorry to say i'm not insulting you i'm i'm speaking generally people in the west in general and and britain in britain in particular they watch the news they live in their homes in in outskirts of these main cities they don't know what's happening so Wait, let me let me let me Thank let me, you. let me finish yeah muslim women in the in the muslim world mm-hmm. you can only know about them when you go and meet with them sit with them talk with them and see how they live mm-hmm. okay I, have you done that yes yeah, so when i went to egypt for example okay. i um i couldn't see in shama shek especially i didn't see any women i'm answering please yeah, yeah, yeah. I, thank you very much she, she will help us she will help so she will help us mother yeah yeah they are digressing now yeah. let's get back to the to topic the there is there was no women around now in, in turkey there are no women <laughs> there was no Which women around i said because okay. the women were uh, i didn't see any women now you didn't see any women in turkey what's going on in iran is that Why are you mentioning it? So here she said that she went to Egypt and she didn't see any women around. I think she might have gone out at night around 2 a.m. That is why she didn't see any women around because during daytime she can definitely find women in the public spaces. Also, she might have gone during the noon noon time when most of the people are indoor and we don't roam around on these streets. I live in a Middle East country, and during summer time at noon, it's extremely hot here, and we don't prefer to go out during the noon time. Because why not? Because you ask, you're you're saying that we, you're basically wait, saying wait. that women in Christianity are treated worse. Do you know what's happening to women in France? Do you know what's happening to? We are, we are all over the place. Let's get back to that subject. My, my, you're getting passionate now. They get better treatment in, in the, this continent than in the Middle East. No, no. Now, do you know what? Okay, there are better treatment. Uh, recently in Qatar, it happened that few news reporters had problem with better privilege and treatments. They didn't want privilege. So in over here. and even in asian countries 
we find that not only Middle Eastern countries, in Asian countries also. We find that women have separate line. We have women, all the women have separate line. In public transport, we have designated separate seats allotted for the women. And uh, there is a policy of women first. <laughs> we get preferences everywhere. And it we let us feel like something is special. So because we are special, we are treated special. There are French women. Wait, wait, brother. There, brother, brother. But wait, wait. There are French women in France who look like you. So they have hair, your hair color, your eye color. Even after you told her, she's still responding. They want to wear hijab. I thought, I, she's, wait, I thought she respects no, you. No, no, no. That's not Why fine. They don't respect in, I, hijab, I, I, in France. I, I, yeah, there is in a hijab France, ban. In France, are you Polish? It doesn't matter where I am. Okay, wait, wait. Like, in Poland, wait, where. my sister. In Poland, wait. In Poland, in France, in Czech Republic, most of the Eastern European countries, okay, women with hijab are being attacked on daily basis, brutalized, beaten. The hijabs have been pulled. What peace? What? What peace? And what harmony? And what love are you talking and jail, about? And jail. Okay, wait, and and wait, wait. Let me finish. Wait, let me finish. Okay. The so-called Christian countries, where Muslim women, converts, you know how many women convert to, convert to Islam? English, British women in Britain. Thousands of... Why, who is... Who's, who's Just like many in the, in the Middle East are converting to Christianity. They're many not. People. They're not. Of course you're, you're there are. Many people are coming to this country as refugees because... In a, in because they were born by the Christians. You're right, yeah. Because they were born by the Christians. So they come here because okay. they cannot okay. leave you Islam. You know what happens? Okay. Okay. Can we get back to the topic, wait, guys? Come on. You know what happens? Let's get back. Because now I call you know, you can't argue again. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Amy, I asked you to quote. Amy, in Christianity, we don't have that. We have excommunication. Look, look, look. We don't kill I'll people. tell you how it works. Excommunication is Catholic. I'll tell you how it works. That's Catholic. So, in Christianity, they don't kill people. Hmm. What did crusaders do? Okay, leave about crusaders. What few countries are doing in the world, throughout the world, so saving the world is responsibility of few Western countries. They have taken the responsibility to save the world. And in the name of saving the world, they go and bomb their countries, bomb their countries. They kill these people. They make them their own come refugee in other countries. They force, they are forced to live in inhuman conditions in other countries, in camps, in refugee camps, where in their own country they had luxurious life, but after the war they went to other countries and they had to live like a refugee on mercy of other country, other people, on their suffering can't be described. So, war refugees or civil conflict refugees throughout the world. It's like a very, 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 in the recent years, it has increased a lot. And my heart goes to all of those people, whatever religion they are from, it's not fair with them. No, it's not fair. <laughs> countries, you killed only Jesus, like there is that man who didn't do nothing. Countries like Iraq, countries like Syria and Iraq and Yemen, the they get bombed. Here. Yeah. They get bombed by some of these Western countries. What happens? They go to refugee camps. Then your missionaries turn up yeah. with their Bibles. The wolves, the wolves, no, you yeah. pray on the vulnerable. And wait, that's wait, why wait, they're going wait, to wait. No, this is not love. No. This is not at all a love. Why they were bombed? You pray on the bomb. Why don't you? Why they were bombed? You share the gospel. Is that why they were bombed? Why the people love. bombing people that are not Christians? I think go back and to the cross. Anybody that puts somebody in jail, they're not a Christian. So how can you say they're not Christian? They come to the cross. Anybody. They get buried under the cross anybody. when they die. Listen, listen. Anybody. When they die, they get buried under the cross. Anybody that puts somebody in jail. And the cemetery is full of crosses. Listen. All the soldiers. Listen. They have a cross. So, they are not Christians. Then who is a Christian? Are they not Christian who bombed the other countries? They were not Christian who bombed Japan. They were not Christians who 
bomb Iraq, Syria, and uh, Afghanistan. They did it under the name of the cross. They died under the name of the cross. They were buried under the under the name of the cross. Were your ministers who were involved during that time were not Christians? The Crusaders, although it is like a history, were they not Christian? So just because you don't want to accept the reality, we are not telling that uh, you have to take the blame and you have to say sorry for what others have done, like we are asked to do. We are asked to condemn, but we are not even asking you to condemn. But please don't twist the reality. Everyone knows the fact, everyone knows the truth. Please don't change it. Anybody the ceremony that when they die, cross, you can cross all you okay, want. Can you get back on the topic, please? Why don't these missionaries listen, go to listen, George why Bush? Why don't, why don't they go to people, people, the leaders? People. Guys, guys, let's get back on the topic. Come on. Politics will never of Instead of, instead of, instead of bringing the gospel, are they allowed to divorce in the 21st love, century? Yeah, yeah. And she said no. By the way, we're going to go. We can get separated, but not divorce. Even if they're getting abused. I'm making a final. Instead of, instead of, sister, sister. Yes, we will. We will. Okay. Okay, let me read this passage okay. because you know let's, the, let's come let's come off politics. Let's come okay. politics. Earlier you said you had an answer to the question I asked from Matthew 5. Yes. And he says, look, let me read it and then you tell me the answer. Yes. So there as are two things. As, uh, on one condition. Yeah. As long as you will not interrupt because you don't know how to I, keep conversation, okay. you keep interrupting. Well, yeah. So, no, no, he's the one engaging her. She was talking as well. Come on, let's be fair, let's be fair. Let him, let him stay away. Yeah. Let him you can't just say one person, they were both talking. I, I, I will uh, but he was the step one. away and film it. Do you want to just have one-to-one? -one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so, let him ask so we started, we, we, we started. No, no, no. We, no, he can ask you questions. You can, I can support you. Can support you. Understand? Oh yeah, and, and he can support he you. Can, you can ask him. Good. I don't need to. <laughs> time. No, I, I, not that I, I need any. I, I, I will not. I will not interrupt. Okay, so we are talking about earlier. We were talking about divorce. Okay. Yes. Now Amy mentioned a point from the same chapter, Matthew five, because in Matthew five it talks first about adultery and then it talks about divorce. So adultery talks about it in the way here. You so have. That was not your last question. Go to the question you were asking. It is from here. It is from here. Okay. You said you will not interrupt. So let me finish. So we will stop here now. And again, they are back to divorce topic. Actually, uh, divorce is not new in Islam. In fact, Islam is the first religion which uh, brought the concept of divorce where women were allowed to remarry after divorce. Not all the uh, all the religions in the world had this divorce thing. And in fact, divorce was looked upon, uh, looked down upon. In Christianity also, divorce is allowed under just one condition, that is if the husband, by the woman, women can take divorce only under one condition, if husband commits adultery. Only then she can get divorced and she can remarry. Otherwise, whatever happens, she has to be with her husband. She can stay separated, but she can't get remarried. So think about it. If a couple get married and the husband is very abusive, he beats his wife, he tortures her, and they have just gotten married. She don't have any kid. Now, she has only two options, either to stay with that husband and uh, bear with all the tortures and sufferings or get separated and live a single life, life without any kids, without husband, without any support, anything, without any family. But uh, in Islam, when Islam came, they, Allah gave us the right to get the divorce, we can apply for khula. So a woman can get divorce from her husband if her husband abuses her, is like physical, emotional, mental abuse, if she is abused. Now, second is that if she is not provided for, like if husband does not look after her, he don't give her food, clothing, money, whatever the basic necessities are there, she can 
get divorce for, for that also and uh, there are many other conditions there are many other reasons for which a woman can get divorced if there is compatibility issue then also the couple can get divorced and uh, it is not looked upon looked down upon and in fact in uh, even if you find certain cultures where divorce is uh, thought to be like a uh, very bad is looked down upon then it is a cultural thing not religion thing yes allah doesn't like divorce and divorce is the only halal thing which is disliked by allah it is so it is not a liked thing but yes we have the provision we have the option to get divorce the other than right to divorce we have the right to property inheritance so we get the inheritance from our father we get the inheritance from our husband part of the inheritance because a uh, father has other children also whom he has to give the property to whom he has to look after and uh, in the uh, in husband's inheritance the wife have certain part and other goes to his children also so it is divided among between wife and children so if anything happens to husband then there is certain amount for wife so that she can live she can live freely without being dependent on the children but it is also the responsibility of her children to look after her be it a boy or a girl both have the responsibility to look after their mother and as per the islam everyone have certain rights and duties be it a man or a woman we both have our certain rights and duties for duties we all have to do our part and this is how the family runs now about hijab there are many claims around hijab that hijabi women are oppressed we are not allowed to go out we are not allowed to get educated it's all rubbish nothing is the truth in it even if uh, there are certain cultural thing where women are not allowed it is a cultural thing not religious thing in fact uh, in middle eastern countries also everyone will find you will find that almost all the people women be a man or a woman they are educated they are not uneducated earlier there was a time when education was not so widespread in these countries be it asian or middle eastern countries but uh, slowly as education became the priority the uh, pros and cons were understood of education everyone started getting education and even then it was not religious thing islam doesn't prohibit women from getting educated it was mostly cultural thing wearing hijab we wear hijab for our creator allah has commanded us to wear hijab we wear it for his happiness not for the happiness of the people the his creature creations other men women we are not wearing it for them we are wearing it to make our creator happy and uh, i remember an incident which happened with me so i was not forced to wear hijab but uh, there was a time all the my family uh, my mother i have seen for, since childhood i have always seen her wearing hijab as well as niqab but uh, there was a time period in my life when i actually didn't wear hijab but it comes in every person's life that uh, rebellious phase is there i will call it a rebellious phase so i didn't wear hijab at the, uh, during those days few years not a lot but few years and then uh, finally i started wearing hijab alhamdulillah Uh, since then i didn't remove it so finally i started wearing hijab and we i went with my friends to for shopping to a mall and i was in this uh, atm line 
there was some server problem with the APM and uh, the money was not coming out. Behind me there was a couple, I don't know whether it was a couple or they were brother and sister, I don't want to judge them. But so they were mocking and laughing at me and they were commenting that oh. She's uneducated, she's illiterate, she's, maybe she's from a village, she don't know how to use the APM. They were making fun of me just because I decided to wear something I like, something I want to wear, something I want to follow as by my religion. And I was judged for that. Because I was wearing hijab, they thought that they judged that I'm illiterate, I'm uneducated. I don't, uh, it's not that I look down upon those people who are not educated, who are illiterate. But I looked up look down upon those people who judge others is on the way they clothe themselves, they wear their dresses. In fact, uh, just few years back in media also, uh, there was a re reporter who was covering uh, this uh, Muslim movement hijab thing and uh, when he went to a Two, two girls, I think, it was two girls or three, I don't remember exactly, he went to them, it was an English channel, and uh, when he went, the reporter went to the these women, these girls, so he started questioning them in Hindi, <laughs> and I'm very proud of what they did in the return, they replied him in English, so just because they were covering themselves up, he thought, that these girls don't uh, don't know English, they can't converse in English, and he is questioned them in Hindi. This is what oppresses us. We are oppressed. Yes, we are oppressed. We are oppressed by these people who judge us. When the girls, women claim that my body, my choice for not covering themselves up, then why it can't be the same for us? Why it's not my religion, my choice? Why we have to be judged as per your choices? Everyone has their choice. We are not going to question your choice. Then don't question our choice also. It is our choice and we like it. Thank you for <laughs> watching this video and spending time with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you like it. And if you want to watch any other content, please recommend them to me. Masalam.